Tanks? Tanks are among the most iconic and powerful armored fighting vehicles. Featuring a large caliber main gun in a rotating turret on a tracked hull with secondary weapons for added firepower, they fulfill diverse battlefield roles, from frontline assaults to infantry support. Tanks act as mobile fortresses, boosting allied morale while intimidating enemies. First developed in World War I, tanks evolved significantly through World War II and were divided into three main types. Light tanks, e.g. American M24 Chaffee, German Panzer I, for reconnaissance, mobility. Medium tanks, e.g. British Medium Mark A Whippet, American M4 Sherman, that balanced mobility, firepower and armor. And heavy tanks, e.g. German Tiger I, Soviet KV, that offered superior firepower but limited mobility. By the late 20th century, tank design shifted towards a more versatile class. The main battle tank, MBT, combining firepower, mobility, and armor into a single platform, exemplified by modern models like the American M1 Abrams and German Leopard II. Tanks have been vital in nearly every major conflict, with World War II battles like Kursk, 1943, demonstrating their importance in armored warfare. In modern conflicts, such as the Gulf War 1991, tanks like the M1 Abrams and Challenger II proved decisive in rapid desert advances. Despite modern warfare's shift toward asymmetry, tanks continue to evolve. Russia's T-14 Armada, with advanced features like active protection systems APS, improved armor, and network-centric capabilities, marks a revolution in tank design, ensuring their role in 21st century combat. Tank Destroyer Tank destroyers are specialized armored vehicles designed primarily to engage and destroy enemy tanks. Differing from traditional tanks which serve as versatile combat platforms, tank destroyers focus exclusively on anti-tank warfare, with an emphasis on firepower and mobility over armor. They are typically equipped with a fixed or turret-mounted gun capable of piercing enemy armor at long range. In modern versions, they can even be equipped with guided missile systems. However, this firepower comes with trade-offs, such as limited traverse angles for fixed guns and lighter armor, making them vulnerable to infantry and close-range attacks. Tank destroyers emerged during World War II and saw extensive use, engaging in pivotal battles across Europe and the Eastern Front. The M10 Wolverine and M36 Jackson were instrumental in the U.S. Army's operations, while German vehicles like the Jag Tiger and Elephant were used in defensive battles, often with mixed results. The Soviet SU SU-152 and ISU-152 were versatile platforms that not only engaged enemy tanks but also served in an artillery role, showcasing the adaptability of tank destroyers in combat scenarios. In the post-war era, main battle tanks largely replaced traditional tank destroyers, though the need for effective anti-tank solutions remains. Modern missile-based tank destroyers like the Raketenjag Panzer and FV-438 Swingfire utilize guided missiles for long-range engagements. Hybrid vehicles such as the Russian BMPT Terminator now blend characteristics of tank destroyers and infantry support vehicles, reflecting the evolving dynamics of contemporary warfare. Self-propelled guns Self-propelled guns, SPGs, are mobile artillery units equipped with built-in propulsion systems, enabling them to move independently to firing positions. Signature features of SPGs include self-propelled howitzers, mortars, or rocket launchers mounted on tracked or wheeled armored vehicles. Their primary role is long-range bombardment. Notably, SPGs can hit targets that are not within their line of sight, which distinguishes them from direct-fire armored vehicles like assault guns or tank destroyers. In contrast, SPGs are not designed for direct combat like heavily armored tanks. They are generally more lightly armored, offering protection mainly against shrapnel and small arms fire. Self-propelled artillery emerged in the early 20th century, with its first significant deployment during World War I through the British gun carrier Mark I. This development continued into World War II when Germany, the Soviet Union, and the U.S. introduced notable SPGs like the Westby, Su-85, M7 Priest, and M109 Paladin. These SPGs have seen action in major conflicts, including World War II, the Korean War, the Gulf Wars, and more recently the Syrian Civil War and the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Today, SPGs remain crucial military assets and continue to evolve with advanced models like 2S35 Coalitia SV, Donar, Germany, PZH2000 and Archer featuring highly automated systems equipped with GPS and digital fire control. Additionally, systems like the Multiple Launch Rocket System, MLRS, provide multiple rounds simultaneous impact, MRSI, enhancing their effectiveness on the modern battlefield. 
Self-Propelled Anti-Aircraft Weapons Self-Propelled Anti-Aircraft Weapons SPAAGs, are mobile military vehicles designed to defend against aerial threats, primarily enemy aircraft. They are equipped with machine guns, auto cannons, and surface-to-air missiles, and typically feature a turret capable of quick traversal and elevation for tracking fast-moving targets. Many SPAAGs utilize dual or quadruple mounts to maximize their rate of fire. The concept of self-propelled anti-aircraft systems dates back to World War I, when various nations mounted machine guns on vehicles to counter enemy aircraft. With early examples like the British QF 3-inch gun and the German 77mm anti-aircraft gun, significant advancements occurred during World War II, featuring notable designs like the German Flak Panzer IV, Wirbelwind, and the American M16 Half-Track. Post-war, while the advent of jet aircraft initially diminished the role of SPAAGs in favor of missile systems, the growing need to counter low-flying threats like drones and cruise missiles revitalized their development, leading to iconic models such such as the ZSU-23-4 Schilke and the German Gepard. Today, SPAAGs continue to evolve, with recent models like the Tunguska M1 and Panzer S1 integrating longer-range missiles and autocannons, enhancing their effectiveness on the modern battlefield. Infantry Troop Carriers Infantry troop carriers are armored vehicles designed to transport soldiers safely to the battlefield. They are divided into three main types, armored personnel carriers, APCs, infantry fighting vehicles, IFVs, and infantry mobility vehicles, IMVs. Each serves a specific role, with APCs focusing solely on troop transport with minimal armament, IFVs combining infantry transport with combat support, and IMVs offering mobility in reconnaissance and patrol missions with added protection against mines and ambushes. The development of troop carriers dates back to World War I, with the British MK9 tank being one of the first purpose-built APCs. Over time, new models like the Soviet BTR-60 and the US M113 became widely used during conflicts such as the Vietnam War, Gulf War, and recent conflicts like Iraq, Afghanistan, and the Lebanon War. Later introduced in the 1960s, IFVs, like the German Puma and Soviet BMP series, added heavier armament, such as autocannons, anti-tank guided missiles, and machine guns to support infantry in combat. The US Bradley fighting vehicle and the Swedish CV-90 became iconic, with extensive use in the Gulf War and Afghanistan War. IMVs are a more recent development from the late 1970s with notable models like the South African Caspier and the American MRA Peace. These feature a V-shaped hull to deflect explosive blasts and advanced crew protection systems, playing a crucial role in protecting coalition forces from roadside bombs and other attacks in Iraq and Afghanistan. Today, infantry troop carriers continue to evolve to adapt to the needs of modern warfare, with recent developments including the use of remote weapon systems, advanced anti-armor systems, and improvements in amphibious capabilities. Light Armored Vehicles Light Armored Vehicles LAVs are agile, highly versatile military platforms designed for reconnaissance, rapid deployment, and support missions across diverse battlefields. People can sometimes confuse them with light tanks since both are mobile and designed for rapid deployment. However, light tanks are equipped with larger caliber cannons and thicker armor, often featuring tracked systems for greater off-road capability and are more suited for direct combat operations. In contrast, LAVs typically have wheeled configurations configurations, lighter weaponry, and armor, making them faster on roads and more suitable for long-range deployments. LAVs emerged in the mid-20th century as military forces sought more mobile and versatile alternatives to traditional tanks. The M8 Greyhound used in World War II was one of the earliest examples of a wheeled LAV. Popular LAV models include the LAV-25, used extensively by the U.S. Marine Corps, and the Fennec, a joint project between Germany and the Netherlands, which saw extensive use in conflicts like the Gulf War, Afghanistan, and the Iraq War. Modern LAVs have integrated advanced technologies such as remote weapon systems, enhanced surveillance systems, and even hybrid engines for improved efficiency. The Piranha V, a more recent LAV model used by NATO forces, exemplifies this evolution with modular designs that allow for the rapid upgrade of weaponry and protection systems. Mine Resistant Ambush Protected Mine Resistant Ambush Protected MRAP, vehicles are heavily armored military vehicles designed to provide superior protection against roadside bombs, improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and ambushes. They are characterized by their V-shaped hulls, which are specifically engineered to defend 
deflect blast impacts from underneath, safeguarding the vehicle and its occupants. Compared to other armored vehicles, MRAPs stand out for their blast resistance and their focus on countering asymmetric warfare threats. Unlike traditional tanks or infantry fighting vehicles, which emphasize direct combat capabilities, MRAPs, however, are heavier and have a high center of gravity, making them more prone to rollovers than lighter, more agile vehicles. The concept of mine-resistant vehicles dates back to the 1970s, with early designs developed by the Rhodesian Army and later improved by South South Africa's Caspir. However, MRAPS development gained extensive momentum during the Iraq and Afghanistan conflicts as conventional armored vehicles proved vulnerable to increasing IED threats. The U.S. military launched the MRAP program in 2007 in response, deploying over 12,000 vehicles by 2012. Notable MRAP models include the Max Pro and the RG31 Nyala. In terms of recent developments, the first round of MRAP production officially ended in 2012, followed by the launch of lighter models such as the Oshkosh MATV, introduced as a more mobile option. Countries like Ukraine have received MRAPs as part of military aid, while other nations continue to integrate them into their security forces. Amphibious Assault Vehicles Amphibious Assault Vehicles AAVs, are ingeniously crafted to execute operations on both land and water, facilitating seamless transitions between naval and ground maneuvers. Characterized by their armored and fully tracked design, AAVs are equipped to carry up to 25 combat-ready Marines, enabling rapid deployment into hostile environments while maintaining a maximum water speed of 8 miles per hour and a land speed of up to 45 miles per hour. The AAV's lineage traces back to the 1920s and 1930s, when U.S. Marine Corps planners sought effective solutions for conducting amphibious landings. Early prototypes, such as the Alligator and later the Landing Vehicle Tracked LVT, evolved into more robust platforms during World War II. The LVT P-7 was introduced in 1972 representing a significant advancement in design and performance. This model laid the groundwork for the AAV P-7A1, which was redesignated in 1985, marking its transition into a dedicated assault vehicle. Other notable models include the Soviet BTR-80A and Sweden BVS-10, used by various armed forces globally. As military technology evolves, the AAV has faced scrutiny regarding its suitability for modern warfare. In June 2018, the Marine Corps announced the selection of the BA Systems Iveco Wheeled Super AV for the Amphibious Combat Vehicle ACV program, intended to supplement and eventually replace the AAV. This decision reflects the ongoing commitment to enhancing amphibious capabilities and ensuring that U.S. forces remain effective in diverse operational environments. Armored Medical Evacuation Vehicles Armored Medical Evacuation Vehicles AMEVs, are specialized armored vehicles designed to provide safe and efficient evacuation of wounded soldiers from active combat zones to medical treatment facilities. Key features of modern AMEVs include high mobility, ballistic and mine protection, onboard medical equipment, and enhanced survivability. The concept of armored medical transport originated during World War II when German armored divisions converted SDKFC 251 half-tracks into medical transport vehicles. This innovation continued to evolve through conflicts such as the Korean War and the Vietnam War and played crucial roles in more recent conflicts like the Iraq War, Afghanistan, and the Chechen Wars. Notable AMEV models include the Bradley AMEV used by the U.S. Army, based on the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle BIFV, and the PARS-3 8x8 AM, a medical evacuation variant of the PARS family of vehicles developed by FNSS, known for its high mobility, survivability, and extensive medical compartment. In recent years, the U.S. Army has focused on upgrading its fleet of medical evacuation vehicles through programs like the Armored Multi-Purpose Vehicle, AMPV, which includes variants like the AMEV. These offer improved survivability, command capabilities, and integrated medical support systems, aligning with the needs of modern combat. Armored Engineering Vehicles Armored Engineering Vehicles AEVs, are specialized armored platforms designed to support combat operations by performing critical engineering tasks on the battlefield. AEVs feature heavy armor, mine protection, and specialized engineering tools such as dozer blades, mine plows, cranes, and excavator arms. These vehicles are capable of breaching minefields, clearing obstacles, and constructing or demolishing battlefield infrastructure under fire while retaining the mobility to keep pace with frontline 
and tanks. The concept of armored engineering vehicles dates back to World War II, when various militaries, including the Germans, began converting tank chassis into engineering platforms. Early examples include SDKFZ-251 half-tracks modified for engineering tasks. Over time, AEVs have developed with notable models like the UK Trojan AVRE, the US M728 Combat Engineer Vehicle CEV, the Russian IMR, and the IDF Caterpillar D9 Bulldozer. With the increasing complexity of modern warfare, particularly in urban combat and counterinsurgency operations, AEVs continue to evolve and are extensively used. Recent updates have focused on improving mobility, survivability, and automation, as seen significantly in the U.S. Army's Armored Multipurpose Vehicle, AMPV, program.